So Danny Garcia gets stopped for the first time in his career against somebody that, you know, early on in their, in the, in their earlier years, you would have never thought would stop Danny. That's Arislandi Lara. Uh, but to be to be fair, Arizona Lara, he's been stopping everybody lately. He has that old man strength and, and it shows he can still box. But he got that old man strength, that strong ass jab. And when he plants his feet, bro, he's just he's strong, dude. He's a strong dude. And uh, this is the way Danny Garcia went out on his shield. You know, after all these heavy punches he was taking on <laughs> you know what I mean early on in his career he gets in there at 160 guess that's what that was too much man and the power up there even from Lara he, he couldn't handle it I guess you know Danny been off for a while and uh they've been enjoying his life outside of boxing and he's been going through some things outside of boxing family issues health issues with his family and he finally decided to come back and go for another belt. Uh, he tried it at 154 with uh, Benavidez. Uh, he tried he tried his hand up there, not against a belt, but, you know, um, just to see how he feel at 154. Uh, he got that win off of Benavidez. That was like his power wasn't there at all. So I think Garcia, man, his power leveled out, I think, at 140. I don't think anything above 140, he was really a threat. You know, but he put up the sh uh, uh, whatever fight you thought that was, he put it up. But that was a fucking boring ass fight leading up to that stoppage, dude. They threw hardly any punches, both of them, him and Lara. They, I mean, I was like, okay, the crowd, you know, at, at first, like the first round, right when they was like, the crowd started booing them in the first round, and I was like, yo, man, would y'all shut up and let these dudes fight, bro? Uh, you know what I mean? I'm saying to myself, man, come on, bro. It's only the first round. Let them fight. Let them let them fill each other out, man. Then it, it was the same thing for the next two rounds. And the next round, I'm like, oh, God. They they, they just showed their age, bro. They showed their age. Lara showed his age. You know, he was comfortable just pot shot and Danny Garcia. But they, they wasn't throwing any shots. They was just standing there, man. I was like, dude people pay for this <laughs> you know but ultimately um very controversial stoppage um to say the least because he hit him with this weird left jab or something like that and it it caused like a delayed reaction in danny garcia and uh he ended up he ended up taking the knee and then he goes back to the corner and his father and him say all right so look you know what you want to do you want to keep going or you want to stop? And um, they waved the fight off, man. I guess Danny didn't want no more. I don't know if he felt the power. He didn't look hurt at all. So now many people are saying that Danny Garcia quit. You know, he quit. He's a quitter. You're going to start hearing that now. My thing is, man, look. The dude already was going through some things mentally and stuff like that. He probably would have took more of a beating. I, I I guess that was the right thing, bro. You know, I'm not mad at him for it, bro. I, I ain't mad at Danny, man. Because the fight, look, they already wasn't throwing no punches, you know, most of this fight. So I don't want to see no more of that anyway. And if he, it was something, man, he just didn't feel like he was there, man. He just he just wasn't mentally there, I don't think, man. Then he just wouldn't pick up another bag, you know. I'm not saying he don't need the bag, you know, but you never know with these boxers, bro. They say that they be straight. They got a lot of businesses going on, but that don't always mean that they good because they got businesses going on. They bit their businesses could be failing. I'm not saying his is, but you know, you don't know. You don't know what their financial situation is, why they wanted to come back. You know, he said he wanted to be champ, but I think it was probably some other, um, issues that motivated him to get back in that ring that's just my my opinion on that but um safety is first man he made it out the ring with his with his health his father said nah you know what i mean he saved his son um from taking a beating 
Um, and that's a that's a good thing as a father. You know, he didn't want to see that. And I, I think Danny Garcia Sr. is one of the, you know, he's a loud mouth. But out of all of the fathers in boxing, at least right now that I can see, that's currently boxing. Well, Danny will probably retire after this. I don't think he's going to be back. But he's one of the only few that cares about his son's health, man. A lot of these other fathers, they'll let their sons go out on their shell, even, they, even though they're getting beat the fuck up for the, for the entire fight. Possibly put their son in a wheelchair and be a vegetable, but they don't care as long as they get the bag. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these fathers would definitely put their kids in, in harm's way, man. But I, I respect Senior for pulling Danny out of that fight, man. Just my opinion. You know, the old Danny Garcia, um, the, the, the left hook daddy, those days is over, man. And you got a 41 year old Arizona Lara holding on to the belt at 160 with with a <laughs> with an iron fist, bro. And let's see what's next for Arizona Lara. Got to look through the rankings and see who could possibly be his next opponent to try to take that belt from him. I heard people were saying. Terrence Crawford should go up there at 160 and and, and, and challenge Arislandi Lara. I would I can see that. That's a I think that's a pretty good fight. We'll see how Bud does at 160. Uh, but Lara, man, he's dangerous, bro. He's 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 one of them dudes. You know you didn't expect you don't expect stuff like that from. But when he sits down on his on when he sits down on his punches, bro. That's that's a problem. He's strong, dude. And, but if he chooses to, he can box you. But he don't have to box you. He's getting older now. He's 41. That When they say that grown man strength, he got it already, man. That's the last thing to go is your power. And he definitely got that pop. And it's funny because Arislani Lara is not really a big... You know, he wasn't known as this big, big fucking puncher because he he liked to... He was a much of a mover a lot early on in his career, but when he got older, his style kind of changed up a little bit, and he started setting on his punches a little bit more. And yeah, you you see it, you definitely see the uh the the results of that. But shout out to Lara for retaining his 160 pound title. Uh, I think Danny should retire. Um, it was a terrible fight. You know, he just it just it was a it was a sleeper bro you know i was like okay next i could wait for it to be over father stopped it and i think danny should just retire and go off into the yonder and just enjoy his money man that's it let me know what y'all thought about that fight this is your boy rebel light boxes y'all know what to do drop them comments and talk to me catch y'all in the next one